Eastman Kodak Company is happy to bring you America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Like most of us, they save their good times in pictures. That's an idea any family would do well to follow. Remember the nursery rhyme, Monday's child is fair of face, on Monday, take her picture. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Tuesday, take her picture. Wednesday's child is loving and giving. Thursday's child works hard for a living. Friday's child is full of woe. Saturday's child has far to go. She's a different person every day, and you can save them all in pictures. For all your pictures, you can count on dependable Kodak film, the film in the familiar yellow box. And now, Kodak invites you to enjoy The Adventures of Ozzie and Harry. you got there, Rick? Oh, ham on rye. What do you got? I got Swiss cheese and whole wheat. I hate whole wheat. Oh, I like it. You want to switch? I don't like Swiss cheese. Well, just take the bread. Okay. What's that, apple pie? Yeah. I'll trade you for a piece of chocolate cake. Did your sister make it? No, my mother made it on it. Okay. Hey, Rick. Betty wants to see you. She wants to talk to you about something. I can't talk to her now. I'm eating my lunch. Told to get lost. You can't tell her that. You don't want to hurt her feelings. What'll I tell her? Oh, tell her anything. Like what? Oh, I don't know. Use your head. You're in high school now. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're going to have another band rehearsal this week? Well, what for? We never get any jobs. We'll start getting jobs. You just have to have some patience. After all, even Tommy wasn't a success overnight. Tommy Dorsey? No, oh, Tommy Klotzberger. <laughs> He's got the college prom sewed up. Ricky? Oh, hi, Betty. What's on your mind? I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes. Gee, can not wait a little while? We're discussing some important business here. Oh, well, maybe I better get in touch with Tommy Klotzberger. What do you want to get in touch with him for? Well, we're looking for a band for our sorority dance. But if you're too busy... Oh, wait a minute. Have a seat. Maybe we can work into our schedule. Yeah, sit down. Here, have an apple. Hey, that's mine! <laughs> What's this about a dance? Well, I've been trying to tell the girls about your band. I think it's real great. Gee, thanks. It's nice of you to say so. Yeah, especially since you never heard us play. Hey, where'd you get that apple? Please, fellas. Well, what's the date of this dance? It's a week from Saturday night. I don't know. Hey, Bunny, would you take a look at our schedule and see if we're booked? Schedule? Yeah, in your notebook. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, what do you know? We got a free Saturday night. Gee, that's great. I'll tell the girls. Thanks, Betty. I'm sorry about that get lost business. What was that? Well, didn't little Bobby give you our message? Yes. He told me you're very sorry, but you in conference. How about that? I predict a great future for that boy in the diplomatic service. Really? <laughs> how about that? We finally got a job. Yeah, how about Congratulations. That? Now all we have to do is make good. Let's practice every night this week, huh, fellas? It's a deal. Hey, Rick, what time do you want to rehearse? About 7 o'clock. Is that okay with you, Bunny? Sounds fine to me. Okay, okay. so long. So long. What rehearsal is that? It's a rehearsal for our band. By the way, when is that band of yours going to get a job? I'm glad you asked me that. It might interest you to know that we've been hired to play for a sorority dance a week from Saturday night. Oh, good for you. How much are they going to pay you? Well, I forgot to ask. You mean you're going to play for a sorority and you don't even know how much they're going to pay you? We can't worry about those petty details. We're artists. I humbly beg your artistic pardon. Besides, who cares how much money we get? We need the experience. I guess you're right. After all, Tommy Klotzberger wasn't built in a day. Tommy Klotzberger? <laughs> Will you give me a hand here, Pop? Oh, sure. Where are you going with the drums, son? We're having a band rehearsal tonight. Oh. When is this band of yours going to get a job? I'm glad you asked me that, Pop. We're playing for sorority dance a week from Saturday night. Oh, good for you, son. Uh, how much are you getting paid? You've been talking to David. <laughs> <laughs> 
No. Say, we haven't decided on that yet. Oh. Well, when we had our band in college, we always used to insist on getting paid before the dance started. Your band was pretty bad, huh? No. <laughs> Something like that. We just thought it was a good business principle. Oh, I was just wondering. What about your band? You guys have any special arrangements at all? No, we just rock and roll. Well, I mean, you can't do that all night. What do you do for a change of pace? Well, we stop playing. <laughs> Gee, you ought to have some entertaining numbers, Rick. See, when we had our band, we had special costumes and funny hats and stuff like that. You guys have any funny hats? No. Well, some of the guys have some pretty unusual haircuts. <laughs> no, that, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Hey, you know, there's an old trunk up in the attic that has a lot of our band stuff in it. Would you like to go upstairs and take a look at it? You might get some ideas. Well, gee, Pop, I don't want to put you to any trouble. No, no, it's no trouble at all. We might find something interesting up there. I think I've seen all that stuff. Well... To be honest with you, I'd kind of like to take a look at it again myself. Okay. I'm sure you've never seen any of this stuff, Rick. I haven't seen it myself for years. Hey, look at this, Pop. Is this one of those funny hats you were telling me about? Oh. <laughs> no, uh, that's a megaphone, Rick. See, in the old days, they didn't have any microphones, so in order to hear the band singer over the band, I thought it might be a good idea to use a, a megaphone to, to sing through. Gee, was that your idea, Pa? Well, uh, uh, kind of, yeah. Official Rudy Valley megaphone. <laughs> well, well, see, it was my idea to use it with our band. Boy, here's a fine old arrangement. Mandy. Yeah. This was one of our favorite numbers. Here's an old song that had just about everything, Rick. A nice melody, a sensible lyric, a good beat. I have to sing the vocal on this one. Mandy, there's a minister handy. <laughs> and it's you. Rick? Hey, <laughs> where are you going, son? I thought I heard Mom calling us for dinner. Well, I don't think dinner's ready quite yet. Could I see that, Pa? Yeah. Hey, look what I've got here. Oh, that's one of the funny costumes, huh, Pa? No, no, no. This is our regular band jacket. What kind of a band did you have? A fife and drum corps? <laughs> a very danceable little combo. Hey, these are nice. Was this part of the uniform? Oh, uh, no, no, uh, those are the funny hats I was telling you about. Hey, Rick, I think we have about a half a dozen of those. If you guys would like to wear them to your, your dance, you're welcome to them. Oh, maybe for our second dance, Pop. We don't want to look too successful. <laughs> hey, you fellas, didn't you hear me call you for dinner? Oh, hi, dear. Now, hear this. Dinner is served. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get washed up. What are you dragging all this stuff out of the trunk for? Oh, some of our old band things. I thought they might come in handy for Rick. Hey, I missed this. My old banjo. Come on now, Ozzy, dinner's ready. <laughs> My dog has fleas. Ozzy. My dog has fleas. Come on, dear, dinner's ready. <laughs> You just can't hear any melody. You said that when we were eating soup, dear. <laughs> well, it was true during soup, and it's true during dessert. You just can't hear any melody. You can when Ricky eats soup. Tell me more, Emily Post. <laughs> well, a little of this rock and roll stuff goes a long way. You take a good old-fashioned tune like Mandy. Mandy, there's a minister handy. And it sure would be dandy. Now, here's a tune with a fine melody, and still it's got a good beat. What time's your rehearsal tonight, Rick? Seven o'clock. Oh, that reminds me. I better bring the rest of my stuff downstairs. Would you give me a hand, Dave? Just a second. I'm getting another piece of pie. David! Well, it's good, Mom. <laughs> I sure hope that band of theirs sounds all right for the dance. Oh, I'm sure it will. Well, see, it's a completely different thing playing music just to listen to and playing music to dance to. 
I just hope Rick understands what I mean by having a good beat. Oh, I'm sure he does. Rick's pretty solid on those skins. <laughs> you know, a banjo adds an awful lot to a band. You know, it gives a lot of spark and snap. Well, yes, for certain types of music, but I don't think the boys have a banjo in their group. Well, uh, that's what I mean. I thought maybe I could sit in at the rehearsal and get a chance to hear how nice it sounds. Oh, do you think you should? Oh, well, I don't mean to bust right in. I thought I could kind of surprise them. Uh, Harriet? Hmm? Uh, you probably don't remember this, but years ago in vaudeville, a guy would be up on the stage singing, Shine on, shine on, harvest moon, up in the sky. And then from way over in the side of the theater, you'd hear a little voice answer, I ain't had no loving since January. <laughs> and uh, the spotlight would pan over, and they'd discover this little ragged newsboy singing from the box. And the audience would all applaud, and he'd come down on the stage. And, of course, it was all prearranged. It'd be a big hit, usually. Oh, wait a minute. You mean while the boys are rehearsing, you're going to get up and start to sing? Oh, uh, no, no. I thought maybe I'd come strolling down the stairs playing my banjo. Well, it'd probably be quite a surprise to them. Well, see, that, that's what I mean. Uh, then they'd invite me to sit in and play a couple of numbers. Hey, Ma? Yes, dear? I won't be late. Well, where are you going? Over to the Barkins for rehearsal. Well, Rick? Oh, that's okay, Pop. The drums are already in the car. Uh, no, I thought you guys were going to rehearse over here tonight. We were, but there's a little more room over at the Barkin. Oh. Well, just remember one thing, son. Don't forget the melody. <laughs> shine on, shine on, harvest moon, up in the sky. Well, yes, it's Ricky and the boys in the band. They're unloading their instruments. Uh, Harriet? I'm going to let them in. Uh, no, will you do me a favor, please? Uh, will you put this banjo up the top of the stairs? You mean in the box seat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, fellas. Come on in. Hi, Bob. Uh, it's okay if we rehearse in here? Well, sure. Set up in the living room, boys. Watch out for the wall, Charlie. I, I thought you guys were going to rehearse over at the Bodkins. Yeah, we were, but we ran into a little trouble with Mr. Barkin. Oh, what's the matter? Were you playing too loud? No, he was. <laughs> you mean Mr. Bodkin was sitting in with your band? Yeah, there was nothing much we could do about it. Right in the middle of rehearsals, he came walking down the stairs playing a banjo. I wonder what he did that for. Gee, <laughs> I, I, uh, I hope you didn't hurt his feelings. Well, no, we let him play a couple of numbers with us, but you know how corny a banjo makes a band sound. <laughs> We were very polite about it, though. We waited till he left the room for a minute, then we grabbed our stuff and cut out of there fast. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I think the boys are waiting to rehearse. Try and get it, Pop. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Botkin. Come on in. Hello, Mr. Nelson. I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, no bother at all. I'm glad to see you. I see the boys came over here to rehearse. Uh, yeah, they just arrived. I, I, I think they figured they were making a little too much noise over at your house. Well, I couldn't figure out what happened. Yeah, uh, say it's kind of noisy here. Do you want to come in the den for a while? I'm sure I'm not interrupting anything. No, not at all. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Oh, thanks. The darnest thing, the kids were rehearsing over at my house, and I was sitting in with them for a couple of numbers, and I broke a string on my banjo. I went upstairs to get a new one, and when I came down, they were gone. <laughs> They probably figured they were imposing on you or something. I couldn't figure it out. I know I was playing the right chords. I used to have a band in college, you know. No, no, I, I didn't know that. Oh, sure. Of course, that was back in the days when the bands were playing real music. I know just what you mean when you could hear a little melody. I was talking to Ricky about that very thing at dinner time tonight. You know the kids got a job playing a sorority dance, didn't you? Well, yeah, that's what worries me. Here's their big opportunity, and I hope they don't blow it by playing a lot of this rock and roll stuff. What's that they're playing? I don't know. Sounds darn good. Because I'd like to hear a little more melody. Hey, you know, a banjo would sure go great in that group. 
Or maybe two banjos. <laughs> Do you think maybe it's our duty as fathers to give the kids a few pointers? You know, help them out a little? I was wondering the same thing. Hey, where have you been? I've been waiting up the top of the stairs for you. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Oh, you remember Mr. Botkin, don't you? Yes, hello, Mr. Botkin. Hello, Mrs. Nelson. I didn't know you were interested in the banjo. Oh, I'm not. This belongs to Ozzy. Uh, I used to have a band in college, too. <laughs> oh, sure, I remember. Of course, that was many years ago. Please sit down. I'm going to make some sandwiches for the boys. Would you like a sandwich, Mr. Botkin? Not me, thanks. How about you, dear? Oh, uh, no, I, I don't think so. Well, I'll see you later, then. Nice to see you, Mr. Botkin. Thank you. Nice to see you. Mind if I look at your banjo? No, no. Help yourself. I haven't played it for quite a while. I just got it down out of the attic before dinner. Nice tone. <laughs> you really get around that thing. I'm kind of rusty now. I never know it. You know, I think if our kids could hear more solid music, banjo stuff and, and things like that, they'd forget that rock and roll in a hurry. Now, I couldn't agree with you more. Hey, you don't happen to have your banjo out in the car, do you? No, I left it home. Why, what do you have in mind? Well, I was just thinking maybe we could work up a banjo duet. And then the night of the dance, in case things started to get dull, we could put on a little performance and kind of pull the kids' chestnuts out of the fire. Gee, hey, that's a great idea, Oz. You think it's too late to start rehearsing tonight? Well, I'm afraid so. Uh, where could we rehearse? Well, the acoustics are wonderful out in our garage. You hear that? It sounds real good, a little repetitious, perhaps. It's got a good beat, but where's the melody? Was everybody gone? Yeah, they just left. Gee, I hope we didn't blast you and Pop out of the house. Oh, no, as a matter of fact, I haven't seen your father for the last couple of hours. I thought he was with you. No, I haven't seen him either. Wait a minute. Did you hear something? Yeah, what's that? I think I know. <laughs> oh, that's great, Oz. <laughs> oh, thanks. You're darn good on that thing. Uh, should we try Mandy again? Uh, you give it the pickups. All right. What's out there playing, Ma? Oh, you remember, Dad was singing it tonight. So don't you linger. Here's a ring for your finger. Hey, you sing swell, Ma. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> That's a great finish you got. I got a little mixed up there near the what end. What time do we get together tomorrow night? Oh, uh, shall we make it about 8 o'clock right over here? one of the old-time minstrel shows. <laughs> Come on, fellas. We've got a lot of work to do. You're not kidding. Tomorrow night's the big dance. Seems to like it.
certainly is, but then, of course, I'm prejudiced. They sure have a good beat, don't they, Mom? They sure do. Everybody said it's the best dance we've ever had. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. What's Mr. Nelson? Well, I'm not sure, dear, but I think he's on the other side of the bandstand with Mr. Bodkin. I must admit, the band sounds pretty good, Oz. Yeah, they got a nice beat. First, I'd like to hear a little more melody. <laughs> Where are the banjos? I've got them hidden over here behind the palms. You really think they'll ask us to play? Oh, sure. Why do you suppose they insisted on our coming here? Why a couple of banjos would really go great in there. <laughs> You got the banjos. Yeah, I told you, I got them right over here. Fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, we have a little surprise for you this evening. I'm sure not many of you know that one of my parents is very talented musically. <laughs> what did I tell you? Get the banjos. I'm sure with a little coaxing, we can get my mother to come up and sing a song for us. Thank you. Thank you. What would you like to sing, Mrs. Nelson? Oh, gosh, it's been so long. Do you boys know Mandy? Well, what key is it in? What key is it in? Oh, dear, where's Mr. Nelson? Hey, Pop. Uh, well, here I am. <laughs> you fellows remember Mandy, don't you? That's a song Mr. Bodkin and I played on the banjos over at our house the other night. Remember it goes, plink, plunk, 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 plink, a plunk, a plunk. If I had my banjo... Oh, thank you, Dave. <laughs> it's in the key of E flat. Uh, just uh, fake a two-bar introduction and we'll chime right in. My little Mandy, there's a minister handy, and it sure would be dandy if you'd let him make a fee. So don't you linger, here's a ring for your finger, isn't it a humdinger? Come on along and let the wedding chimes ring happy times for Mandy and me. There's the minister handy, and it sure would be dandy if we'd let him make a fee. So don't you linger, here's a ring for your finger, isn't it a humdinger? Come on along and let the wedding chimes bring happy times for Mandy and me. Oh, what a wonderful way There's a minister To handy. give the parson his pay And it sure would be I'm feeling kind of nervous To hear the wedding we service First you hear the wedding bells Then you hear no, the baby yells linger. Don't be so nervous, my dear Here's a ring for your finger. I have a ring ever seen Isn't it a hug? Oh, what a celebration With all of my relations Father and mother and sister and brother And Mandy and me Pop, how about you and Mr. Botkin playing a banjo duet? Oh, Dave, I'm sure the kids wouldn't want to hear that. Go ahead, Pop. Well, okay, you asked for it. <laughs> you want to kick it off, Perry, double time? Okay.
can take snapshots, you can make movies. It's that easy with a Kodak Brownie movie camera. Look, all you do is make one simple setting. Sight and press the button. You'll get wonderful movies filled with action and color right from the start. Home movies by Kodak are inexpensive too. This Brownie movie camera costs only $29.95. And thanks to low cost Kodak film, a scene as long as this in full color costs less than a dime. See all the Brownie movie cameras soon. Prices start at only $29.95. Ask about small weekly payments. To learn more about the fun of your own home movies, send your name and address to Movie Book Kodak, Rochester, New York. It's free, of course. That's Movie Book Kodak, Rochester, New York. Vocal background and dance arrangements were by Bunny Botkin. and Harriet are brought to you by the Eastman Kodak Company, who remind you that the name Kodak on your camera or film is your guarantee of quality. If it's made by Kodak, you know it's good. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.